This uh, happy little fellow is the Topps Knives Eye Stick. Eye Stick. And uh, it's kind of funny. To me, it's kind of a take on the iPod, the iPad, the eye generation. But this is the eye stick because you stick people with it. It is a push dagger. But uh, this is not a push dagger for the faint of heart because this is nearly a half inch thick. Look at that. Look at how thick this chunk is. So this is the giveaway knife this month for uh, the Patreon uh, Gentleman Junkies. That, those are people who give 10 bucks a month uh, to the Patreon, um, the Knife Junkie Patreon uh, in support of the podcasts and the videos and all that stuff. And uh, people who support at that level are entered monthly into a knife giveaway. This is the knife being given away this month. Uh, <clears throat> generally, it's just whatever uh, is my taste. This, as you know, is very definitely up my alley. However, this knife was donated to the channel uh, by our good friend Stu up in Vermont, Stone and Steel Knives. And... Uh, yeah, he donated this and last, last month's giveaway, which was a SOG Pentagon XR. This knife is a beast. I mean, it is truly insane. And uh, I know the word beast gets overused, but, uh, you know, you'd be a fool not to use that word with this gigantic knife. So, push daggers, what are they for? They are for getting people off of you. This is not a, a dueling weapon. You don't square off with a push dagger. Uh, it's something you produce. It's something to be felt, not seen. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, well, it's a weapon, of course. Now look at that and look at the size of it. And then let's find another, here's a another tops self-defense sort of oriented weapon. But about the same blade length, this is a little bit longer, but you get so much more from a regular straight handle. Granted, that's more of a pistol grip. Uh, but, you know, the, your reach is uh, considerably more with a regular straight straight blade. Um, so this is definitely something you pull out um, and use it in a pinch. Uh, as the lore goes, uh, these knives were heavily used in the Mississippi... Uh, river gambling boats uh, but i read a great article and now i'm sorry i cannot remember who wrote it but he brought up an interesting point and he was saying you know i've been a knife junkie my whole life and read everything i could about everything i could about knives never heard any stories about a riverboat gambler pulling out a um, push dagger from his cummerbund and vanquishing his foes over the poker table but uh, I've never read that either, but I, I'm going to just keep going with that because I like that lore. Why not? Uh, but I'm sure the push dagger goes back way, 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 way further. Um, you know, you have a lot of those uh, uh, ancient Indian weapons. Um, now uh, the name is escaping me, but they're, they're gauntlet weapons with blades that protrude in this, in this way. Uh, there are also ones that don't have the gauntlet. They just have the crossbars. And you have the big uh, blade coming out here. Gee whiz! Sorry, I can't. I can't remember what it's called. I feel like a feel like a fool right now. Uh, but these kind of weapons, these uh, sort of push dagger style weapons, I, I suspect have been around for for a bit. Um, that is, of course, based on all the research I just rendered uh, to you. So anyway, uh, this knife was won last night during Thursday Night Knives by our good friend Timothy Becker, a supporter and gentleman junkie. Now, ladies, and I know there are so many of you watching this video, but ladies, just because it's called a gentleman junkie doesn't mean that it precludes you from giving me and us $10 a month for this effort. Gentleman just refers to style of knife, like gentleman's knife. We have the traditional junkie at $3, the tactical junkie at $5, and the gentleman junkie at 10. So Timothy, congratulations. This is your new eye stick by Tops. Um, I don't know, it's about seven or eight pounds and about 12 miles thick. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll, you know, maybe this is a good dog walking knife, you know, gotta walk the dog, gotta put this in the belt just in case things go south on the walk. Uh, so it'll be coming to you with the Tops whistle and uh, you know, it came 
it came in the Topps plastic bag. It was already opened um, when I received it. It was a show model, I think. And uh, there's your certificate of authenticity. So there it is, the Topps eye stick push dagger. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Before I wrap this up, I wanted to do a couple of comparisons because this thing is very much a self defense knife. So I have a couple of little self defense knives in here to show it off with. Um, oh yeah, whoops. So this is the Felony Stop, very subtly named Felony Stop. And then here we have the Rapid Strike, double-edged of course. All the finest people carry double-edged knives. Let's see, and then we got the Ranger's Edge. And uh, now we'll veer away from Tops, but you know, Tops does a spectacular job with the small self defense uh, style knives. Of course, we have my favorite little new self-defense knife, the the Copus Design and Ed Calderon Elvia. This is about 20 pounds lighter, whoops, than the eye sticks. He just fell out of my hand. So very, very different knives, but uh, similar purpose. God, look at that. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, and, oh, I would be remiss if I didn't show you the, where is it? Here it is. Well, also, here it is with the TDI. Also a great little fixed self defense knife. But I want to show it with the only push dagger I have. Uh, and that is an old cold steel. This was made in Japan. What is this? Safekeeper 2. That's about a three and a half inch blade. One, two, three and a half inches. And what a wicked, wicked knife this thing is. So uh, there it is, the eye stick. Once again. And this time, I'm signing off for real.